Hey everybody, my name is Matt Darcy. I graduated last summer from Drexel University with a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering and mechanics. I'm here at Korea Aerospace University to tell you about my Fulbright research this past year. So come along with me as we journey across the vastness that is the campus of Korea Aerospace University. I came here to be a part of the Space Systems Research Laboratory led by Dr. Young Kun Chang during the CalSat-5 microsatellite project. CalSat-5 stands for Korea Aerospace University Satellite 5. When I formulated my Fulbright project proposal, CalSat-5 was set to have already launched into orbit to take infrared imagery of the Earth. I would have been manning the ground station and running new satellite mission simulations. But that's the nature of the space industry at times, uncertainty. I joined the Attitude Determination and Control Subsystem, or ADCS. Now by attitude, I don't mean sassiness. But rather, I mean the orientation of the spacecraft relative to other bodies such as the Earth or the Sun. My task? CubeSat developers could benefit from having a system simulate what the satellite sensors would experience in orbit. With such a system, the developers could verify that the attitude determination and control subsystem properly controls the spacecraft's attitude while the spacecraft is still on the ground. And so, I was charged with the development of the CalSat-5 attitude sensor simulation system. What did this mean for my Fulbright Grants course of action? I began by learning the simulation software that I would use in the system. I developed a MATLAB program to autonomously bring up CalSat-5 in a simulated orbit scenario. I then learned the C computer programming language and began working with microcontrollers to bring the simulation program's data from the PC into the microcontrollers. My system is meant to link up to the attitude determination and control subsystem of CalSat-5 and provide real-time simulated sensor data.